Genealogy is fun, but it is also hard work. Working alone is the hard way. John is trying to locate his ancestor who came to North America in the 1600s. But he is trying to tie the connection going back, starting with himself, and can't find documentation to his great-great-grandparents. John joined American Pioneers and met Jane online, who turns out to be his sixth cousin. Jane has an old family Bible and scans the family page into a photo file and uploads it to her profile page photo gallery on American Pioneers. Jane enters the information in her genealogical family tree in the genealogy section of her profile page by uploading her GEDCOM file. The American Pioneers online software generates a web page for each generation of her ancestors and links parents to children and children to parents. John sees all the connections he needs to connect the generations and his research. Jane has posted photos of her parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents in her photo gallery. She spent years finding them and paid out money restoring them. John would like a copy of the photos because Jane's great-grandfather is also John's great-grandfather. Jane has placed the photo for sale at $1 each. John buys access to download the photo files and pays Jane the $1 each. Jane has an old pocket watch which belonged to an ancestor but doesn't have use for it and wants to sell it to offset some of her other expenses. Jane puts the watch up for sale in her store online at American Pioneers. Don sees it and decides to buy it. He pays Jane for the watch online and Jane ships the watch to him. Jane and John find another lost cousin online and his name is Don. Don has been working on his family tree for years as well and has made trips to other states, county courthouses, national archives and more and has accumulated many documents proving connections. Don uploaded these scanned documents to his online gallery and will sell copies to help offset the cost he incurred in collecting them. Jane and John purchase these digital copies from Don to add to their research. Jane, John and Don decide to have a family reunion so everyone can meet their lost cousins. They create an event. Jane takes the lead and the three provide contact information of relatives' email and they schedule, plan, and manage the family reunion, where relatives who may not have known each other before attend, and the size and scope of a family is increased. Jane, John, and Don invite their relatives to join American Pioneers, and many join. Jane, John, and Don each earn a referral fee for the join, and for every future renewal of membership of those who join American Pioneers as a result of an invitation by them. Hundreds of friends join equals thousands of dollars annually earned. Their relatives invite their friends and relatives to join and also earn referral fees. Jane, John and Don earn referral fees from the members invited by their invitees as well, but not further out. American Pioneers is not a multi-level marketing system. They set up information with birthdays, marriage dates, and more to announce and bring the family even closer together. The family can join in online chats, instant messaging, send messages to each other, video conferencing, and much more, all included in their American Pioneers membership. Jane, John, and Don form a work group on American Pioneers to work together, each taking a project which allows them to avoid working on the same research trail multiple times, and they report back to the group what they have found, thus saving time and money. They start a blog whereby those finding them on American Pioneers can post findings and share ideas and information. They post articles about their ancestors' lives, participation in events, and records of their exploits.